Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is oh, it is August 18th, I believe. I'm still having a little morning focus issue. Wait, where are you? Wednesday morning, August 18th, 2021. 9 12 in the morning. Courtesy is out the fucking door for me. I have had it. I you know and what <clears throat> what happened during that the early course of the morning uh, I didn't I didn't even record a lot of it it's just because in between breaks and moments of, of quietness and whatever tranquility there was I just you know would would try to take uh, Try to get some sleep when whatever I could. Oh, crap, I'm sitting on ants. Um, you know, <clears throat> the one thing that woke me, that wakes me up is the cigarettes. Now, look, I don't I don't mind the cigarette. You know, just if you're gonna smoke cigarettes and you know, you can smoke outside. That's that's where one of the rules of, of this house is. If you're gonna smoke cigarettes, just smoke it outside, front, back, side of the house, whatever. Just don't smoke in the house. I mean, it kind of makes sense, you know, cigarette smoke. It doesn't take much, you know, just after one cigarette, you know, the, the room or the house just starts to smell. Cigarette smoke, you know, just really sticks. I don't mind it. I mean, I used to smoke. I don't, even if I walk it across the street and I walk through a waft of, you know, cigarette smoke or tobacco smoke, it doesn't bother me or whatever. I almost rather have her vape tobacco she's gonna do that in a room I'd rather have her vape tobacco I that I can deal with honestly it, it's just a little more pleasant you know given all the flavors and the sense and everything I'm tired I'm just I'm, I'm really rambling. last night wasn't so bad <clears throat> Still, still being affected by her, even when she doesn't do anything. The week prior, just a couple weeks ago, I think, it was really rough for me. She just, people, in and out, in and out. There were four people that came in, three of which I was trying to count, because I can notice the water pressure and I can feel the, the water going through the pipes. There were about four people that came over, uh, one including her son, and I believe one briefly was her granddaughter from Pennsylvania. I still don't understand that. I guess it's just her upbringing and whatever it is that they do. And whatever. Uh, three people were taking a shower and like, fuck, this, this is why, you know. And I just now for just heard myself. It's Wednesday, so there may be a chance that she bails to go out to the casino to go do whatever she's going to do. That's another thing. She's been. She's an ex-con. She's a. Oh, from what I could best guess, she's a felon. Of what I don't know. Again, one can only imagine run rampant, right? Given the situation and the ongoings of last year and everything that she was doing and uh, everything that she continues to do. The one thing that bothers me also is that it it adds and it to not I don't even know where I'm going with this. I don't the one reason I don't like living at this residence is because I've seen now and I've heard a lot of the illegal activity that this residence, this particular address, this house on this property is being used for ill-gotten purposes. Of what that is, well, mail fraud, for one thing, is the first thing that comes up off, off my head. Uh, EBT food and welfare scamming, uh, unemployment 
scamming and fraud, EBT, welfare fraud, scam, whatever. There's only three people. This house, this resident is set up for five, five tenants, okay? Really no exceptions. Not even the room that I occupy now, they didn't even make an exception for that lady. Uh, I know the, the lady that used to occupy the room that I did when I went in there to go meet. I'm like, oh, I didn't know you lived here. Oh, yeah, well, you're going to get my room. It's I'm glad to see you. Okay, yeah, well, good. This, this, this woman uh, had been homeless for a while. She's got a, a very young daughter, uh, early 20s or early, but something preteen, or not preteen, but you know, 18, 19 or whatever. And she got housed at this address. Um, but she wanted to, and she was doing everything properly, you know, through the pe proper channels and procedures and everything. She wanted to know if she, uh, more or less is what I'm, I'm trying to convey half-assed. Uh, she wanted to know if she, her daughter could live with her in the same room. And it's, honestly, it's large enough for two people in, in the room that I occupy. It's double the size of the ordinary rooms in this house. I got lucky. Henceforth is why my rent is the most and I understand that. That's fine. I have no problem with qualms with that. Um, and this lady, while she was living here, you know, her daughter would come over and uh, they'd get together and they'd go to the library. And all day they're at the library, you know, and uh, just reading and stuff like that. Just mother and daughter stuff, you know. And then at the end of the day, they'd come over here. They'd enjoy some time together. They'd part and mom would retire here at that at this address while the daughter would actually go she had a, a residence at uh, homeless uh, Union Station homeless services down over down Raymond and that went on for how long I don't know but you know they they went the proper channels and the right procedures and lobbied and stuff and finally uh, when the time came for me to get inherit this room her they placed they were able to place mother the mother and the daughter together in the residence persistence patience doing things orderly properly and through the right channels and everything that's the way you get things that's the way you're supposed to be you know and there were no exceptions yes it was kind of kind of crappy you know that the daughter would have to go but honestly that's how you do it this person on the other hand whole new ball Glad it's overcast. It's kind of slated to rain in some areas, and it has been this morning. Um, she has been doing nothing but elicit stuff. Last year, before um, when during the shut-in, before uh, I had even thought of, and even though a lot of you folks were uh, reiterating and mentioning about the. Uh, informed mail that the post office did. I hadn't done it until I I didn't do it honestly I don't think until early this year I just got tired of losing all uh, I know that some of you had sent money because I had sent the I had put the address to the house and a couple of you had sent donations and uh, emailed me and asked and to no avail I got nothing I mean I was lucky to get the only thing that honestly that I was getting uh, that I was really receiving diligently were my um, my statements for my child support. I mean, that's kind of a you recognize that weird-looking rectangular squarish with the label with the address, and you kind of know here in California, especially in LA County. Ah, fuck it, it's not. It's nothing important. There's no money. There's nothing. It just uh, <laughs> pay up for your child. That's fine. But there were, I counted about eight or nine names with all the people that were coming here. And all that was going on, all the drugs, all the alcohol. And again, I, I don't really mind if you drink, just if you're gonna drink, be cool about it, control yourself. and. Don't put alcohol in the refrigerator or leave it on the counter for fuck's sakes. Thanksgiving, I come, you know, I come came home from uh, from work and the house is fucking full of 
people. There were two miners under eight years old that were here. Everything was unmasked. There was a bottle of uh, Remy cognac and uh, E and J brandy on the on the fucking counter, and a uh, uh, about three or four cans of English 800. And it, I mean, honestly, it wrapped up around midnight, one o'clock. But still, you know, and the whole crisis, she was just doing this. All was doing this. And she knew that because there were no, the counselors and the, the people that were helping us weren't allowed to come in here. So she was taking advantage of this. Saturdays when the church, the property here was closed, uh, she would take full advantage, you know. She just, no filter whatsoever. And, 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 She's got no manners. She's got no consideration. Also that I found out, yeah, she is the next con or whatever. Now if that's up and up, I don't know. So when she says that, you know, oh, I was manager for CBS 32 years. And I'm like, first of all, you fucked up because you said CBS. CBS is, has a thing with the company that I work for. And I know quite a bit of business and everything. And I was waiting for the opportunities every time she kept pounding or stuff like that or whenever we'd have it. There was three things that I was going to ask her. Oh, you were a manager. Oh. Hard to believe with that personality. A manager, let alone an employee for 32 years. What does CBS stand for? Question number one. Well, I don't know. Who, 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 who. No one knows that. I know the name of Target. The reason. When was CVS established? Oh, hey, no. Well, if you know, if you're a manager and you're a long-time employee, you get to know the ins and outs of the company, at least the basics, so you can answer some basic questions uh, for a customer or a guest or whatever they are called nowadays. And just like I do with, you know, I had been, you know, it's just, oh, this is Target Express, you know, it's uh, somewhat a really new concept, blah, blah. And it's, and I jokingly say, you know, it's kind of a 7-Eleven of, you know, Target or whatever, but not with everything, just with the basics that you would need. <clears throat> and another one, because only people that really know their business or work for a, for a business or whatever, you get, what is CVS considered as? That one would have really fucked with it. What do you mean? What are, what, what? I'm, I'm just... Putting in what she probably would have said. Hey, you know, it's, it's a store. It's a, you know, whatever. And I was waiting for someone to say a retail. It's not. It's not a store. It's not a retailer. Retail and pharmaceutical. Pharmaceuticals was the main thing. But their aspirations long ago and what they perceived and how they've grown <clears throat> and acquiring what they've acquired through business deals and acquisitions and buys and stuff like that. My thing is like, well, yeah, no, it's CVS is considered a World Health Organization. It's not considered a retailer or a big, big box. That is part of their other entity. That's part of the subdivision. She's got a lot of her friends, families, or I don't know, and and people have different different names, especially her kids. They come from different books. LeVar Weston. LeVar Weston. LeVar Weston. There's another one. This is a, 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 a granddaughter. He's a Mayweather. LeVar Weston. LeVar Weston. He's a Mayweather. Uh, another one here. I don't know who the heck is. Jonathan Johns. I have other ones. I just couldn't find them. Ricky, Rick, uh, three other names. Bubba was another one. Lavar. 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 Next spend credit card. All access. Metro. Metro Metabank, all excess Metabank, Netspan, Netspan, all excess Metabank, 
uh, Welfare, EBT, uh, LeVar Weston, some sort of unclean. All access, next bend, Metro. Uh, California Lifeline, Asia Mayweather. Jonathan Johnson, Department of Health and Care Services. Don't know who the fuck that is. Another, LeVar and Asia. Weston. LeVar Weston. That's, that's the son. No, I, I, no, I think that's the brother. Yeah, the family has different names. Lavar Weston. Lavar Weston 2-2. Two, two. Double. Asia. Asia. Oh, that's a former tenant. Asia. Asia. Oh, and the newest names as of lately now here's the one thing that that she does early in the morning when she's trying to avoid i don't know people that she's indebted to this is i remember this from the 70s when i was a kid people used to do this when the wolves are calling when the bill collectors are coming and knocking out the door uh we used to have bill collectors back in the day young folks that would actually come to your residence and say hey power company utility company telephone company Whatever services that you have turned on or paying that we do not receive a payment, we're going to give you notice that we're going to shut off or whatever. EDD. And that was a lot last year. It's starting up again as of a couple of months ago. Kenneth C. Johnson. The other ones. Two EDDs. Aquintus Allen, Kenneth C. Johnson. Another two. Kenneth C. Johnson, EDD. Best guess? The unemployment fraud? These people do not live here. There are three tenants with three leases, with three keys. Two tenants that are employee. Myself. I'm an employee. I'm employed. My other roommate, my other housemate to my left, the good one. The other one? Unemployed. I think she gets disability. That ain't a whole lot of shit. And food stamps or whatever. But it's just you know, during the crisis last year, uh, the government, the city, and everything was all confused, which is why a lot of you folks um, haven't really received any of your tax, whatever, that's still owed because they're tied up. And I think I actually was audited last year because, uh, and I think that the, the auditing was in discrepancy because of the, uh, the PayPal or whatever, or, you know, or, no, actually, because I did dabble uh, into crypto because you can buy crypto through PayPal. I think at, at the most at a time I was buying like Because you could buy by the dollar uh, increments And I was buying whenever I was having a good check. I was buying uh, 10 and $20 uh, crypto But then I would free because I didn't I didn't I'm used to the stock market I could see the ways and the balances of that and I can read that better, but this I was really uncertain, so I was playing it safe, ten to twenty dollars, and it would drop down. If it dropped down to like seventeen, I'd sell it and lose the uh, pay the, the the fee, which was like a dollar something, and I'd get back maybe fifteen dollars or whatever, and then I just put it back in my savings account. I'm still a little undetermined now, especially here in California with the whole new law or whatever it is, and we pay taxes. I'm still in the dough. I just look at the stock market. I haven't even played the stock market. 
in years. And as volatile as it is right now, um, I think yesterday was a somewhat of a decent rally at closing. I think it's always the NASDAQ that's that's always <laughs> kind of like in the negative. But this this is this is what and this is what gives these fucking people permission to come over and do whatever the fuck it is, illegal activities, drinking and fucking just doing all sorts of shit. I'm tired of this. And again, this is what I mean. Union Station did not remove her, so they are part of it. They are contributing to this. They are contributing to this illegal activity that is happening in this neighborhood, this residence, on that property. I don't want to be part of it. I'd almost, I actually had even been talking, you know, some of my friends in the past. I'm not, I wouldn't even be surprised if the house gets raided, you know, by the feds or the police. And, Everybody up, out of the house, walk out to the house with your hands up, whatever. It's going to suck, but yeah. And it's like, well, where the fuck were you guys when I was making all these videos last year? Last year? City attorney knows all this, you know. Union Station knows all this. They've gotten calls and complaints and letters and everything. They do anything. I went to over here to the post office this morning because one of the things... The biggest thing last week or so, I was losing my mind because she was really up and doing all this shit. Is that Friday morning last, I believe, or Thursday morning last, I had gotten up to go uh, throw the trash away as I did. And she had me starting up. And, Woo, ho, ho. I somehow ended up throwing my house keys away in the trash. And then I had a phone call, a doctor's appointment that morning. And I totally forgot. And I, when I remembered, I was, I was in a panic, where are my keys? And I'm realizing I just had that epiphany, you know? I'm like, oh, fuck! And I'm kind of bolting out the door, my roommate, oh, dude, I just lost my keys or whatever. And as I'm walking out the back door, here comes the little pickup truck with the dumpster in the back of the the forks and everything. I'm like, yeah, that trash that was in there. And he's like, oh, fuck. It's all good. I ended up notifying my uh, my landlord. She's an angel. And she got me my keys. Um, I think the last time I ended up having to pay $150, $173 to call an emergency locksmith. That was Oh, I locked my keys in the room. So I did that. And then I went to go check the, my post office to see if I can't ask them for my mail and everything. And there's a big plaque. And I, had, I hadn't even, it hadn't even dawned on me. Um, they, won't, they won't hand you your mail across the county. You need to have your keys. So as flat broke as I am with no money, I didn't even, yesterday, I didn't even... Uh, go to the Methodist Church because I've been trying to spend all this time trying to change my tire. I'm having to cut the tire. I can't manipulate. I just don't have the strength in my right shoulder because I had my shoulder replaced in 2015. And uh, I just don't have that upper arm manipulation or that strength. So I'm actually having to split the tire now with my box cutter from work. And that's taking forever. And let me tell you, that tire is pretty rough. Anybody that's ever tried to cut an automobile tire sidewall with a box cutter or razor blade, it's only a nylon tire, but it is tough. So I don't know what I ran into, uh, but I've reassessed my route once, hopefully today, maybe. I just don't have the proper tools. I just don't have the money. It's going to be at least another two and a half weeks before I get a paycheck. First order of business to get my my mailbox up in money by now here's the funny thing and as i'm walking away i'm like now is probably when the ebt card is in there the food stamps are in there now that's just the way this shit works with everything that I do. So that's probably in there and i'm walking back over here to do this video 
and I'm laughing. I'm like, damn it, I know now. Yeah, it's in there. Oh well. When I get paycheck, get get a paycheck, you know, I I get my my uh, postal situation all squared away. That's that's got to be the first order of business, and then I'll pay my delinquent bill, cable and. I owe so much. How quickly it, it adds up, right? You know, when you lose your income. Can't think. I can't. I'm gonna wrap this up. And uh, I'm gonna try to get the. I'm tired. Of, I mean, getting to work is no big deal, but coming home from work, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm dog tired, and I don't want to. And I'm thinking, yeah. It'd be cruising along. I'll get it done. I'll just it's gonna take a while. Hopefully I can. I'm just cutting away. <laughs> oh fuck sakes, man. Courtesy's out there. Alright my friends. You folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other. Okay. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide them out. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on. I ended up actually... I guess Universal got tired of waiting for the money, so they ended up taking $6.95 and they pushed it back. So my best guess is, yeah, I'm totally, I've totally lost the Universal. But it's no big deal. I, uh, I'd have to get a, a, a bus pass anyway, just just to be able to afford the 350 or so round trip on the on the on the subway. <laughs> To get to Universal Studios, so uh, I, even if I had a, a pass to get in for free, it just wouldn't be with me. And I don't think I would do that right now. I'll get a pass or whatever, worried about it, but I, I'm kind of geared now for Disneyland. I want to go to Disneyland this holiday season. I don't care how, but I want to spend at least, if I can save it. I know a lot of you folks, but I need some. I need that certain something in my life that I haven't had. So I'm looking to spend maybe if I can save. I know it's a ridiculous amount off the top of my head. Thousand dollars to go spend one night in Disneyland with a room somewhere at a cheap motel. Because I got to have to take an Uber. And right now, probably, roughly, I haven't checked the rates. I'm saying 80 bucks to get to Anaheim. And maybe a hundred and plus dollars to get back here because it's more expensive inland to the coast but i'll worry about it but i definitely want to i just i just need something all right folks comments good or bad please post and i will talk to you tomorrow go back to work tomorrow i was off today and yesterday and i've been working on this thing I actually missed some phone appointments. I'm just, I can't think. She's just fucking around. <sighs> All right, that's enough, Hank. Be nice today. Don't be like me, please. <laughs>